everyone and welcome to Maple Leaf ESL. My name is Andrew and thanks for joining me here today. For today's quick word series, we're going to take a look at the expression, take something to heart. Okay, I think you're going to find this a very useful expression. So let's see if we can take a look at a couple definitions first and then we'll look at some examples. So we can see here it says, to take something seriously and be upset or affected by it. Okay, so that's our first definition. Next one says, to think that a comment or action is deeply personal, okay? So we can see here, our first example, it says, I really took it to heart when the university rejected my application. Okay, so imagine the situation. I apply to a university, I really want to get into this university, but then they reject me, okay? So now I'm very personally hurt by this. I'm very upset because I think that I'm not good enough, right? So I take this rejection to heart, right? Maybe I shouldn't take it personally, right? But I do, so I'm personally upset about it, right? Okay, another example. She was only joking when she said she didn't like your hairstyle. Don't take it to heart, right? So don't take it personally, right? Imagine somebody says, oh, your hair looks kind of strange, right? Your hair looks funny. Okay, and maybe it was just a joke, but I didn't take it as a joke. I took it as a sort of really strong criticism. And now I'm upset about it, right? I, I said, to me, it was deeply personal, right? Maybe I spent a long time kind of getting this hairstyle. I put a lot of work into it. So when somebody made a joke about it, I was really upset, right? I took it to heart. Okay, imagine one more example. Imagine you're in a writing class at school, okay? And you've got to write stories or something like this. So then the teacher reads your story. The teacher doesn't think it's so great. So the teacher offers some criticism, says maybe you should change this, you might want to change that. Okay, but you're really upset about the teacher's criticism. You think that, that you're no good as a writer, that you should just give up. Okay, but actually, it's the teacher's job to give criticism, right? It's the teacher's job to say, hey, you should change this or this isn't great. Okay, it's not personal, but you took it personally, okay? You took it to heart, okay? All right, that is today's quick word. I hope that you found it useful and that you, that you have no problem understanding this one. Thanks so much for joining me here today at Maple Leaf ESL, and I look forward to seeing you again next time.